Hello, everybody. My name is Peggy Harrell, and I'm a captain with Plano Fire Rescue in the Community Outreach and Education Office. And we're filming this or videotaping this Zoom meeting today, and I've got several friends with me here today. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself, starting with Amy. I'm Amy Pagan, and I'm with Plano Arts and Events. I'm Jennifer Rosenthal. I'm the Director of Burn Services at Medical City Plano. Hi, I'm Emily Snyder. I'm the Burn Educator at Medical City Plano. Great. Well, thank you all for being with, here with me today. We are going to have a quick meeting to share information on what we all think is, we all think is a uh, hot topic this time of the year, which is fireworks and fireworks safety. First of all, Amy, will you share with us what the city has going on in the way of fireworks this year? Okay, so this year is obviously a, a different year than years past, but we are still going to have fireworks. Um, they will be launching from Lavon Farms, which is a different location than we've used before, but it is a higher elevation, which means that you'll be able to see the fireworks from farther away. And this year, we are asking everyone to watch the fireworks from their cars or um, from the, the area in which it will be viewable. There will be a viewing map. There is a map on our website, which is plano.gov slash All American Fourth. You can see the, the map there and on our Facebook page, uh, the city's page, or on Plano Arts and Events on Facebook. Um, and this year we are ask, asking everyone to watch from their cars, but also if you are outside to please maintain safe social distancing. Um, if you are around other people, please wear a mask, but the most important part is social distancing. Um, but we will have those fireworks and they will be at 930. If you do not want to go out to see them, they will also be uh, broadcasting on the city's Facebook page. And the radio station KLAK is going to have music playing as well. So you can listen to KLAK and have music that coordinates with the fireworks. Um, and then if you want to be a little extra festive, we have a decorating contest going on for the 4th of July. So um, if you've decorated your lawn or your windows um, or your front door, or your balcony, just take a picture and uh, send it to us. You can send it to our social media page or you can send it to um, our email, which is planoarts at plano.gov. And, um, and then we'll enter you into a contest. We've got all kinds of fabulous prizes. Um, one is a staycation package from Cambria Suites. One is a Zoom meeting with the farm animals from the Heritage Farmstead Museum, including the baby sheep. And, um, and then there's some more prizes from Plano Magazine and from Visit Plano. So that's what we have going on. So a lot of stuff, it's really fun. Thanks, Amy, those are all safe options. Um, you know, the big push from Plano Fire Rescue is to leave the fireworks to the professionals. And um, we're hoping that everybody in Plano and, and surrounding areas does that. With that, you know, consumer fireworks really cause um, us a lot of concern here at Plano Fire. And that's one of the things I'd like Emily and Jennifer to, to touch on, the dangers of consumer fireworks. So a lot of parents actually think sparklers are a safe alternative for their tiny little kids, you know, five-year-olds. However, they're extremely dangerous. They burn from about 1200 to 2000 degrees, which is about the same temperature as a blowtorch. So not a great idea to get those little kids. Not only are they clumsy, fall down, could cause injury to themselves, but also to houses outside and um, things of that nature. So a good alternative would be glow sticks or silly string, something to still keep them involved. And again, they wanna see the fireworks, keep it to the professionals. Here at Medical City Plano, we see a lot of injuries every year. Most of those are to the hand, they can be to the face, and unfortunately to the eyes. So we want people to be super cautious should you end up somewhere where fireworks are being let off to avoid um, getting over the top of fireworks, avoid relighting fireworks that maybe didn't go off the first time. Um, injuries, burn injuries can be very severe. They can require surgery and skin grafting and it's a lot of um, painful procedures for that child or whoever it is that it happens to. So we want to encourage you all to go into the city, watch the fireworks, leave the professionals 
um, to do the fireworks show. We never recommend consumer fireworks to anyone. Um, should something happen though, wherever you are, come on in and let us take a look at it here at Medical City of Plano. We, we've got the burn clinic. They can come in Monday through Friday. Um, they can just walk on in in the morning and we'll check them out or um, we have the emergency department should you need it. Great. Thanks ladies so much. Uh, Emily, I'm so glad you mentioned sparklers. We are asked um, so often you know, why are sparklers not allowed in the city of Plano? And actually, you know, any fireworks are prohibited in the city of Plano. Um, it's city ordinance, the use of, manufacture of, storage of, you know, just having it is, can lead up to a $2,000 fine. And sparklers in particular are, are just so dangerous, you know, that, that we see. That is a metal stick that reaches those high, high temperatures. So another reason, just leave the fireworks to the professionals. And um, Jennifer, quick question, you know, uh, fireworks injuries, I know Emily mentioned young children, males, females, any difference? So interestingly enough, about 72% are of the male persuasion. Sorry guys, um, usually young, uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 is the biggest, um, population that we see. So moms, if you could keep an eye on your young males, they, they tend to be the ones that get curious and uh, tend to be risk takers. So they're, they are the biggest um, group that we see, unfortunately. Okay, great. Well, I thank you all so much for being on this quick Zoom meeting with us today. Um, we're gonna make this into a video and get it on our sites and we'll share it with you all as well. But please, um, everybody, Leave the fireworks to the professionals to have a safe July 4th. Thanks so much.